guys, Water Night Gaming. Today we are, well, first let me fix something really quickly. Okay, props off. So today, oh crap, I just closed my Chromebook. I'm used to making videos while I'm editing and uploading videos. So today, I'm just gonna look up really quickly. You might have gotten a glimpse of what we're doing. And, oh crap, sorry for the microphone, guys. I'm sorry. So today, probably guessed by the looks of this, banners. So I do have a texture pack on, but it's not editing any of the banners, which is good. So custom banners, yeah. Um. So we'll start with the first one, the nether portal, or we'll take a quick tour really quickly. So first up is we, we have the nether portal and the nether portal, it, the, it, it's really cool looking, and it could be used in a lot of different situations. For like a nether portal room, like say you want to sign to a nether portal, instead of putting a sign, you, you could just put this and maybe like put an arrow in the middle of it. I don't know, but it could be used a lot. <laughs> and so if we put this sucker back, ha next up we have the TARDIS. So, the, well, a police box, but it's, a, I, I like calling it a TARDIS. So, whoa, what happened? Huh? I'll be back really, I'll be back soon. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to quickly change back to the original. So, if we, if we take here some lapis, we can make, we can make a quick TARDIS. Or, I really just need a block. And this could be a cool easter egg in your world. So, let's wait for it to load. Yeah, just place them all around. And you have yourself a cool little TARDIS. Yeah, it works. So, let's put this back. Um, I'll, I'll shove that sucker in my inventory. Or, just get rid of it. Next up, we have a squid. So there is a bug right now where like these lines right here aren't supposed to show at all, but they do anyway, so I'm not sure. Like I never put any black here, I just put blue, and it did that. So it's a squid, obviously, and this can't be used that much. Like it's, it's a cool decoration, but it's not that usable. So yeah, and all of these are cheap, like you can make them with like everyday items in Minecraft. Next up we have another squid, but this squid is a lot better. This again can't be used that often, but it can be used and that's still really cool. Um, I, sh I forgot to grab this. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can, again, decoration purposes, maybe if you're having like a squid farm, perfect for it. For both of the squid ones. So, yeah, they're not that usable. And last but not least, you have the Pokeball. And again, sorry for that. It's just a bug in this one point in the beta update. So, Pokeball can be used anything Pokemon related. Pokestops, um, anything Pokemon related. And say you want to make like a Poke Center, or if you want to make, not Pokestops, Poke Centers. And if you want to make anything, like, you can always change it to that top part of blue. But anyways, let's get started in making them. Starting with the nether portal, you need a pink banner. And to make all the banners, or the, just the base banner, for all of them is always going to be first. So it's this formation to make the pink banner. And as you see, you get the pink banner. If you go here, you can add a brick and purple dye to make it purple masoned. So you cut, I mean, if you look at it, you can kind of see the masoning in it, kind of. Not that much though. So next up, we want to add lines by adding two purple dye over there and two purple dye over, or two magenta dye on each side and putting it on the bottom, but not all the way down. And you get this. So now you can now you can see where it's starting to look like another portal. So I'm um, sorry with the banners; they like change, like you can see. So it's like it doesn't really matter what banner I put in there. 
So we're gonna add magenta, we're gonna put it in the top middle, the, the banner. We're gonna put magenta on the left and the right, and down the middle, but all the way to the bottom. So that way we get stripes, or not stripes, we get the fade. We're gonna do the same thing to the bottom, so we're gonna reverse it, put the banner on the bottom, one on the left, one on the right, magenta dye, and then two going straight up the middle. So now, it, now it's pretty much the base of the nether portal. All we're doing is adding the outline by putting the banner in the middle and outlining it in black. So, boom, that's the nether portal banner. Next up, we have the TARDIS. So this is, you could probably find all of these I found off of other YouTubers. Well, other YouTube videos, rather. And other random internet sites, like, not all, all of these, like, the only one I probably came up with myself that I figured it was pretty easy was the Pokeball. But anyways, the TARDIS. So you start out with the blue banner base, and you get the blue banner. You're gonna mason it, but this time we're gonna put bone meal in the middle, and a, um, a brick on the right. So the difference that this makes, so, look at how this is bricked off. Now look at how this is bricked off. This one is more solid. This one is more shaded. Kind of see the difference? That's what the difference is. So then we're going to put the banner on the top. We're going to put six lapis on the bottom two rows. So you get that. So we pretty much have the bottom of it now. We're going to make an X using, or a plus sign using ink sacks. Put the banner in the bottom left corner. So we get this. So here, we're using this so you get the lines in the next one. So we're gonna do the exact same thing but with lapis this time. And then we go over here. We're gonna surround it in black ink sacks. Well, surround it in ink sacks, put the banner in the middle so you get the outline. We do the exact same thing but with lapis. So we get blue. And there we go. That is how you make the TARDIS. Next up is squid number one. I'm calling it squid number one because, well, it's there's two different squids. So squid number one, you're gonna start out with a white banner base. Then you're gonna put vines and ink sacks just like this and the banner on the bottom. So you get this. So this is a little different, but it's exactly like the, a brick de the mason design, how you make it. So then, we're gonna put the banner on the top and do the bottom layers with six cyan, so we get it halfway in the middle. We're gonna do one row of cyan at the top, and in the bottom middle is gonna be the banner, so you get that. And then we're gonna put three cyan straight up and down in the middle. We're gonna put that right there, so you get that. And if you look, we're putting it right in the middle, so the, that shouldn't be there. I don't know why it is, but it is. So then, we're gonna outline it in blue, so we get the outline, and we're just gonna fade it from the bottom, so we're gonna put ink sacks from the middle, from the top middle, down one to the middle middle, and we're gonna put the banner on the bottom middle, and the left and right of it are gonna be ink sacks, so you get the fade. So that is how you make the squid! Okay, so squid number two, and hello sheep, can you get out of here? Okay, thank you. So squid number two, you start with the blue banner base. I know I should be saying, but all blue is dark blue. We'll just put it that way. And then we're gonna put, a, we're gonna make a triangle with the ink sacks, but the banner's gonna be in the middle from the bottom up. So we get a triangle. <laughs> then we're gonna make lines by putting two lapis on the left and the right, going from up to middle, and the banner's gonna be in the middle. We're gonna have lines like this. And I understand why those are there. They're supposed to be there. So then we're gonna put just one bone meal in the middle and the banner on the bottom, so we get a dot in the middle. So then, we're gonna put, next up, we're gonna put, the banner's gonna be on the bottom middle, the middle middle is going to be the vines, and the middle right is going to be the ink sack. So that way, we get this. So you, so here's like, you're probably wondering, it adds that curved design to it. So the next up, we're gonna put the banner in the middle, oxide daisy on the bottom, and a lapis on the left middle, and we get that. 
So there's how you make squid number two. Last but not least, the Pokeball. So the Pokeball isn't really difficult. It's probably really, really easy, in at least my opinion, most people's opinions that I know. Um, it's not that hard. So you're gonna start with the white banner base, getting the white banner. You're gonna put, you're gonna surround it in ink sacks, but do not go the corners, just so you get a diamond in the middle. Next up, you put three bone meal on the bottom, and the banner in the middle, so you get that line. That line is not supposed to be there, because it's got to go in the middle for it to actually affect it, supposedly. Or the diamond is supposed to be smaller, too. So next up, you're going to put three ink sacks at the top, and the banner on the bottom middle, so you get that. And you're going you're gonna to do the top two layers in red, and the bottom middle with the banner, so you get that. So it's pretty much looking like a Pokeball. Two more. Three ink sacks across the middle and the banner on the bottom middle, so you get the line. And you're just going to put a bone meal in the middle, the banner on the bottom, so you get the Pokeball. So guys, that is how you make these cool custom banners. If you enjoyed this video, hit that- no, you gotta think of something. Exterminate that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go check out my Let's Play series and some of my other series. And possibly, hopefully, slam that subscribe button. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, don't forget to stay afloat.